Today, we are going to look at how to set up an Outlook signature block in the Outlook desktop and web apps. When I first started working from home, the most frustrating thing was trying to get the mandatory signature set up. I was like, why does Outlook hate me? I thought I set this up at the office. What you need to know is that the signature must be set up in both places. They don't speak to each other. So let's start with the desktop app first. Click on File and then scroll to the bottom and select Options. Then a pane will open and you will go to the second menu item, which is Mail. From there, you will see in the middle of the content area the ability to create or modify a signature. Click on Signatures. First, click on New and give the signature a name. I'm going to call this one Heather's New Email. And then I will click OK. Now I can add my signature in the Edit Signature box. What you enter in your box is up to you or your company policy. Where I work, we need name, title, phone, and a link to a customer satisfaction survey. So all the information you see here on the screen is fake, so don't try calling this phone number. What I am going to insert is the link to my YouTube page instead of a customer satisfaction survey. To add a link, I will select my text and then click on the link icon and copy in the appropriate link in the address box and then click OK. If you want to add a photo, all you need to do is click on the photo icon and search your hard drive for a picture. Even though you see the, this square to resize the picture, it doesn't work in the desktop. You actually have to click into the picture options. And by playing with it, I found that 1.28 was the right size for my signature block. And now I have my first signature set up. Once I click on save, notice that Outlook automatically put my Heather's new email signature in the new messages field. Now you can set up a second signature for replies or forwards or just use the same one. As a suggestion, I use a different signature block for replies and forwards because in a long email chain, people lose track of who sent the original email. So I add my email address to the replies version of my email signature. Now all I have to do is click the drop down next to replies and forwards and I can associate that with the reply signature block. Now we're going to close out of the dialog box and accept all the changes that we made and quickly go into our Outlook and create a new email to make sure that the signature block got set up the way we wanted to. And sure enough, here it is, my signature block with my little penguin guy. Keep in mind, everything we just did saves to a local file on your computer. If I open Outlook on the web, this signature block is not there. So let's look at how we can set up the web app, open settings, Scroll down to view all Outlook settings. Scroll over to the side and select Mail, and then Compose and Reply. Now I'm gonna click on New Signature and give it a title, call it Heather's Online, and then I'm just gonna copy and paste everything I had from the web app into here so that the signatures are essentially identical. The only thing I'm gonna change is the photo, so by clicking Insert Photo, I can find a picture from my hard drive and notice that it comes in really big. So I can right click and select a size or in the web app, you see that I can drag the handles and make this picture smaller. Keep in mind that if the image has a large file size, it can impact the size of the email. And if your company has an email size limit, images can be a bad idea. But for the sake of demonstration, I put it in here and now I'm going to say four new messages use Heather's online. Now I'm going to go through the same process and I'm going to create a Heather's online reply. Now we're going to quickly navigate to my email and you'll see why I picked three different photos. You can see that the message sent from the desktop app has the little penguin. The reply from the web app has the red button. And if I create a brand new message from the web app, it's going to have the blue like button. I made all of these look different for demonstration purposes, but in reality, my suggestion for you is to make all of your signatures and your replies look the same so people don't know the difference if you're sending it from the desktop version or the web version. I hope you found this Outlook video helpful. 
And if you'd like to learn more about the Microsoft Core Business apps, please take a look at the playlist on the screen or the other video that's showing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.